So I don't normally talk about my dreams, but last night's dream, or this night's dream, however you want to put it, was actually pretty fucking awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know how you, you have a dream and you kind of remember it, but it goes away, but then there's other dreams that just kind of stick with you? Like, and, but only for a short amount of time until, like, they go away, you know? Or get buried in your psyche uh, for your therapist to find out. But let's not talk about that! <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so... I want to talk about this dream because it was kind of pretty fucking awesome. Like, I haven't had an awesome dream like this in a while, and yeah. I mean, I woke up, like, I, you know those kind of dreams where you wake up and you're kind of like, fuck! Fuck, I want to know how it ends! <laughs> it's kind of one of those dreams, or you dream and you're, you know, it's kind of like a dream where you're having sex with the one woman, you, uh, one woman or guy you've always loved, and yeah, then you wake up, you know. <laughs> Man, but anyway, I'm probably keeping you all in suspense. Anyway, so let's talk about uh, my dream. So, this dream, I was ba I, I dreamed I was Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls. Yeah, like, you, you ever, like, in a dream, you look at yourself in a reflection, and you see someone else? Yeah, I was Dipper, and I'm basically... You know, and also how dreams kind of just start off. I was in this, like, laboratory, like, this makeshift, like, laboratory that looks like it came out of fucking Seven. Uh, the movie, I mean. And yeah, we're t um, it's just me and Wendy, and we're talking, and she's kind of like, look, I've, I've been a werewolf for so long, and I think I've isolated the werewolf genome. Like, she's talking like she's like she's Tony Stark, and she says, like, look, I think I found a cure for, for you know, being a werewolf, and I need your help to, you know, cure me. And I'm like, okay, that, that sounds good. Then, you know, <laughs> blacks out, refades in, and I'm like looking at myself in this suit of, you know, silver armor. This pure silver armor. It looks almost like a fusion of the Iron Man ar the ar Iron Man Mark, Mark II armor, and um, what's the other thing it kind of looked like? Uh, a suit of armor from a knight, you know? It looked like a medieval Iron Man suit. But, yeah, and it's got these kick-ass wrist blades, and the next thing I know, me and Wendy in her werewolf form are just fighting. We are throwing down in this subway. Yeah, for some reason we're in a subway, and we're just th kicking the shit out of each other. Like, she's tearing at the armor, I'm, you know, punching at her, I'm throwing her through a subway car, and it's not like in the mi it's not like in a subway as it's going down, it's more like in the subway uh, area where you get on. It's the, get it's the I don't know what you call that. But yeah, we're fighting not in the tunnel, but in the you know the e the entrance area. I don't know. Again, I don't know what you call that, or maybe it's just slipping my mind. And we're just like beating the shit out of each other. Like I'm getting thrown through a subway that's parked there, uh, through one end, and then come out the other, hit a wall. I fly back through, uh, grab her by the head, and just throw her uh, up to like a, a like a another level. And as we're fighting, like again, we're just kicking the shit out of each other at this point. And um, there's this kid crying. Like we both hear this kid crying, and it's this. We both turn, like look, and there's, there's like this little girl in the corner of. I think it's either in the subway or yeah, it was in. It's actually in the subway car. And this kid is just ball. This little five, six year old, four or five little g old girl is just bawling for her mom or her dad or something. I can't remember. But yeah, Wendy locks onto that and just bolts for her. And I just fly in, get between them, and I and I got this this uh this like foot long silver sword wrist blade just shoots out of the armor and just goes, don't make me do that. And I'm begging, like I just remember as Dipper just begging this girl, you know, and in her werewolf form, I'm in between her and this little girl, and I'm begging Wendy, just don't do it, you know. I will, you know, don't make me do this. I will put you fucking down. And she's just snarling and roaring, and like I'm. Please don't make me do this. We can find a cure. Do not make me, you know, do this. And then, you know, she lunges at me. I lunge at her. The last thing I remember is her face coming at me. And that's the end of the dream. Yeah, that is the end of the dream. I mean, yeah, it's an awesome cliffhanger and all, but I was like, when I woke up, I was like, fuck! I wanted to know how that ended. Son of a bitch! Ugh. Man, that just pissed, like... I mean, it was an awesome dream. The fight was awesome. Like, we were throwing each other around, slashing at one another. I had, like, shot a flare at her. I don't know how I did that. Like, I shot a flare in her eyes. Man, well, that was really cool. That was just kind of a really kick-ass dream, really. <laughs> Ugh. 
but yeah, um, I just thought I'd share that. I just thought it was just so cool that I was like, I woke up and I was just like, I want to share this with the world. Let's talk about this. So yeah, um, that's pretty much my dream. I'm sorry if I wasted five minutes of your life, but I was literally like, the second I woke up, I was like, I need to talk about this, because this is something we need to talk about. And granted, yeah, I woke up a few hours earlier as of this recording, but, uh, but yeah, better late than never, because it was starting to leave my mind. Anyway, so once again, hope you all enjoyed this fun little anecdote, and yeah, I will see you guys later.